Hello guys, I'm Michuga and you're welcome back to Orange Studios. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to do a simple church flyer, uh, a church flyer for a virtual event. And we are going to use three simple steps. We are first of all going to create the background, going to add our image and then add our text. And that's it, we are done. So now let's jump in. So first of all, we are going to create our new document. And to do that, the shortcut is Ctrl plus N or now easily go back to file, new, and then it will pop out. I want to work with 4.5 because it's going to be um, a virtual program. It's not going to, it's not going to be printed out so we can play around with the sizes. Uh, 4.5 inches by 6 inches for the height. 300 pixels is okay. RGB is okay. So let's create the document. Now, so this is our canvas. First of all, we are going to create the shape um, that will be the base of the file we are going to work with. So let's click on this icon to create a shape and then click on one side, drag to cover the area you want to work on. Now I want to use um, a color I've already set over here. So I'm going to double click this and I'll share the RGB settings with you and then i'll pick this color so i've set it to zero for red 58 for green and 76 for blue let's click on ok so bear in mind we are trying to create the background here so let's drop in some image with which we would be working with um let's work with this image let's drop it here the blend mode to overlay let's change the color settings for this image to black and white so let's adjust this to black and white let's use the default set it okay and then let's reduce the opacity to let's say 40 40 is okay want to apply um, a gaussian blur to this image so let's come over here to filter click on filter and um yeah, filter, Gaussian blur, blur first, then Gaussian blur, and then yes, this is okay. So, or you can even reduce it if you want, but I feel this is okay. So, okay. So, next, I want to create the golden ring we saw in the preview. To do that, let's come over to shapes, let's select the ellipse tool, press on shift and then drag. This should be okay. Let's drag this here. Now, hit on U to bring back, back the shape tool. And now click on fill, turn fill off. Come over to stroke, turn stroke on. You can use any color. We would apply another effect on it. Now let's increase it to say 200. 230 is too much. Let's say, let's say 200. So this is okay. Now, let's drag this over here. Hit on okay. Double click on this side of the image. And let's apply this effect to it. So we want to apply a gradient overlay. Click on that, select this. Let me show you the color settings. So, okay. Okay. Okay, now, so we want to convert this to a smart object so that we can apply some clip masking to it. We want to add some textures to it. But we can't do that if we don't convert this to a smart object. So let's first of all convert this to a smart object. We do that by right clicking and then convert to smart object. Nice. So now let's drop our pattern so we are dropping this pattern over it drag it over here hit on ok now press and hold on the alt key and take your mouse between these two layers and then clip now ctrl j to duplicate this because we want it to cover over and again press and hold on the alt key take the mouse between these two layers because we want to clip mask and then click
Let's go over to our folder and bring out our main image. Let's drop it here. Control G to put them in a group. Now we can also brighten up the image a little by creating a shape. Let's change the color. Let's select a brighter blue. This should be okay. Now we want to apply Gaussian Blur to this. Filter Gaussian Blur. Yes, convert to smart objects. Now increase the size. Okay. That's okay. So now let's take this into the background, <clears throat> into the background folder, and then drop it here. Let's drop the logo here. Reduce the size. Press and hold on Alt if you are using the current version of Photoshop. If not, then Shift and Alt to have a uniform transformation. So the font I'm using is Montserrat. Um, yeah, so I'm using Montserrat for this. Now let's write out the theme. Let's make it a normal case. And then um, let's use Sinzel. No. And then um, make this. Sensor decorative. So this is okay. Let's duplicate it. Control J. Bring it down. And then let's apply a, a, a gradient to value on this one. So same gradient. So now let's create a new shape. Okay, so let's add another shape again. This time we are using the rectangular shape. And let's try and add a drop down shadow to this. Um, after we've added the name of the church, present Save by Grace Virtual Edition. I want this image to stand out a little from the golden ring. So let's try and add, a, add some drop down shadow to it. Double click on this side, click on drop down shadow, and then you can adjust the shadow strength. Um, increase the size if you want to. You can also uh increase the opacity if you want to let's let's keep it soft you can change the direction if you want to you know but uh i think 11 is okay so i'm okay with this let's move on okay now let's add the few other informations we have which is this and every friday afternoon it's a zoom meeting and then the time is 12 noon so let's drop them in Select your type 2. Of course, we are going to reduce the size. Let's say 12. Okay, further down. So let's say 10.5. Then let's reduce the spacing. Let's see if we can change this and make it a little lighter. Let's see, semi bold. Okay, this okay. Um, increase the font size to 14. Yes, that's okay. Now, one more thing. Let's drop in the zoom. 
icon or the zoom logo and we are almost done take it down here and then let's piece this up a little drop a shape take it above the shape change the shape color to white uh, change the shape color to white and then increase the logo a little Now let's add an anchor point and then delete an anchor point. So to do that, pen to add anchor point, select shape, add anchor point, and then delete anchor point, delete an anchor point. There. So now let's select the direct select to shortcut E, click, press and hold on shift and click this side again. So you can now adjust. Yeah. So we are good. Now let's increase this just a little bit. Okay. The last thing is to add a time. And we said it's 12 noon. Okay, so now let's add the preacher's name, host, uh, let's change the, the case to normal and then I'm going to use a font called Harmony. Let's increase the font size, it's a very thin font. And then we can write out his name. Let's change this to Montserrat. And then reduce the font size to 10. Let's make this, let's say, semi bold, OK. And then all of this extra bold, black. Let's make all uppercase. All uppercase. And then let's adjust the spacing. Let's say 12 or 10. 10 is okay. So there you go, the last thing we have to do is to, like as usual, put all this in a group. So let's put them in a group. One quick disclaimer, Reverend Dr. Steven Wengan has nothing to do with this design, it's just for educational purposes and has no relations to the Assemblies of God Church and the Cedar Mountain Chapel. We just use this image for educational purposes. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.